Thanks for checking out that clip. I definitely enjoyed bringing it to you. As you're kind of seeing, right, I'm giving you the vocabulary. I'm giving you that jazz language to take, giving you the ability to speak with your own voice. Add that into your arsenal of playing to have more things to say at the keyboard, to jazzify your playing, right? To bring all of these things together, put more palettes in your color palette as you're the painter painting these different types of music so you can take your playing to the next level. That's not the only clip I've got. Stay tuned and I've got more for you. So looking at the keyboard, this is all I'm gonna tell you, is this, okay? F, C sharp, C, B flat over A, seven, uh, this is a uh, type of sharp nine chord. It's actually a sharp five sharp nine. So. Even if you just practiced A7 sharp five sharp nine, that voicing is starts on the seven, G, C, C sharp F. You can always arpeggiate right out of your chord voices if you know that. Because I just want to point out this movement from the sharp five to the three, to the sharp nine, to the flat nine. Or just if you're playing in this voicing that starts on the seventh, the seven, the sharp nine, the three, the sharp five, start on that sharp five. tell you what all this harmony is actually coming from. All this is coming from, a lot of it is, over minor, excuse me, over a sharp nine chord, over a dominant seventh sharp nine chord, sharp five. You can always play, go up a half step and play melodic minor. So if you know this, let's put it in uh, your brain again. This is something that's hugely important. Well, first of all, where is this chord going to? To one. So this A is functioning as a five. It also, instead of a um, nine, has a sharp nine, that's this sound. Okay, that's where the C comes from. And actually resolves really nicely to this D minor nine. Over a dominant seventh, sharp five, sharp nine chord, you can go up the half step from the root, in this case I'm playing an A chord, and play melodic minor. What's melodic minor? Melodic minor is very similar to major but the third is flat. So instead of going up to B flat and playing major, you are flatting the third. So I have B flat, C, D flat. Okay, so that's all this is. Now, to take this concept one step further, I have a sharp five, sharp nine chord. I showed you this little piece of the lick to resolve back to minor one. Then I said a uh, sharp five, sharp nine chord, go up a half step and play melodic minor and showed you what that is, which is major with a flat three as far as a scale. Each of these can be flipped into other scales and I'm not gonna go there, but each of these can be started. You can start this scale from any note. So you can actually, instead of starting from the root, start it from the A. Okay. 
okay, or from the sea. So your fingering would be exactly the same. You can just start from the different notes. And that's a, that's a really important idea in jazz and in learning different modes. But as a, as a takeaway, as a general takeaway, if you have a sharp five, sharp nine, go up a half step, you can play melodic harmony, melodic minor scale, and you can start that scale on any degree. Same notes, starting from one degree to another degree. And that's all I kind of want to say there. Closure, right? And I actually may talk a little bit about these types of chords here. Thanks for checking that out. Now you might be asking, is James gonna give away everything for free in the course? Well, I can't do that, but what we will do is wanna make sure we get you on a wait list. So go ahead, sign up for the wait list, we'll get you registered, and reach out when we actually release the course, which is right around the corner.